Well, the problem is, is that the septic tank is under my dining room. We're actually, we're sitting above it. Um, and it was discovered that the septic field is under the garage. So somebody built the garage over the septic field and the addition to this home over the tank, which neither were permitted. So as soon as the septic uh, inspection company came, another one, not the one that inspected the system when I bought my home, he came around the corner and he, he said, like, this is serious, your house stinks, like this whole smell is outside. I brought him inside and the house was saturated in septic smell. Um, and the first thing he said is, you need to reach out to South Nation Conservation. I can't do anything for you. None of this is to code. None of this, none of this is good. The quotes for the septic system have come in at close to $40,000 and the plumbing quote has come in at close to $3,000. But that was two, two years ago. Like this has been going on for over two years that I'm living like this. Whether it's the septic company that did the inspection or the house flipper that didn't bother to take out any permits or South Dundas who acknowledges that not one single permit was ever taken out on this property, probably ever, but mostly by a house flipper. Um, I don't know. To South Nation that in an email from their lawyer said they were going to come good for this and then change their mind. Who is responsible? Everybody's making me responsible. Every day I wake up in my home, my home that was I was supposed to enjoy and care about, it stinks. And some days it stinks more than others. There's days where, honestly, I just want to pack up and leave because it's unhealthy. And it's, it's mentally and physically, I'm, I'm done.